Hi, my name's Alex, and if learning how to drive a standard manual transmission or stick shift car is worrying, concerning, or just interesting to you, then let's make it nice and easy for you. I'm guessing you have a basic understanding of how a normal car works if you're coming from an automatic. If not, then quick rundown, steering wheel, turns left and right, gear stick in the middle. This is a five speed, some will have six gears, some will have three if you're in a larder or something. We have the standard pe pedal arrangement plus one, so accelerator throttle pedal on the right, brake pedal in the middle, and then you're in third edition, the clutch pedal on the left. Again, right foot uses the throttle and the brake normally, left foot goes for your clutch. Steering, nine and two, standard racing driver style, go watch Lewis Hamilton and all those guys. That's how they do it. If anyone tells you it's here or here or wherever else, it's fine. Just do this, please. Thank you. You're a racing driver now, confirmed. I've given you your certificate on the screen. Uh, the seating position, I'll have a quick talk about. It wants to be a little bit closer than you'll be used to, probably with an automatic car. Just enough so that if you extend the clutch all the way to the floor, uh, your knee isn't completely straight. It has a little bit of a bend in it. It just makes it more comfortable in long drives and it puts you in control a little bit more. Obviously, so you have a little bit of a bend when your arm's on top of the steering wheel as well. You don't want to be all the way extended because no control, it might look cool, it does. Before you get to start the car, clutch in, make sure it's in neutral for good measure. Neutral is just slap bang in the middle of the gearbox and you'll know you're in neutral because it'll move side to side like this and you will learn the notorious wiggle in no time. So every time you stick in the neutral and want to make sure Give it a wiggle you can do that as much as you like you're not going to damage anything and it's fun the basic layout of a manual gearbox this being a five speed will all be slightly different regarding reverse everything else will normally be the same in most cars i'm sat on the right side of the car if you're sat on the left side of the car let me just say that it really doesn't make much difference at all the gears and the positioning of the gears themselves do not change just your relation to them in the car does so in a right hand drive car like this first gear is to the left, all the way to the left. Clutch in, remember. All the way to the left, like so, and up. It should go nice and firmly into place. You shouldn't have to jam it in or anything like that. Standard procedure. It should go nice and gently into first, like that, with a nice click, notchy click. Second gear is all the way to the left and down, like that, nice and easy. Remember, clutch in. Third gear, and this is where a lot of newbies have the most trouble when they're first starting, but it's really bloody simple. It's just in the middle. So where neutral is, and then you just push straight up. You don't want to add any sideways pressure because you'll be in first. You don't want to add any pressure towards me because you'll be in fifth. Fourth gear is just in the middle and all the way down towards me. Third to fourth is a lovely gear change when you get used to it, nice and simple, just straight down. Again, no sideways pressure. Just stick your hand over the top of the gear stick and nice and down towards you. Fifth gear, sideways pressure into the middle, keep the sideways pressure and up towards fifth. So it's all the way towards you, again, all the way towards you, up towards fifth. The gears will just be there when you come back as well. So it'll be fifth, into the middle, fourth, leave it in the middle, third, sideways pressure, second, sideways pressure, first. Like so, and then back to neutral, give it a wiggle, and you've gone through all your gears. You might have a sixth, uh, which will be fifth sideways pressure and then down towards sixth gear there. I don't, so I can't really demonstrate that. I have a reverse where sixth would be. Um, you might have a handbrake or a, an e-brake, a foot pedal. Uh, if it's a foot pedal, you obviously click it on, click it off. Um, this is a normal handbrake, so up's on, down's off, and you'll start rolling. Um, so keep it up when you're stopped and in neutral with the clutch out. Everyone who's new to driving, driving a manual car always worries about the clutch pedal. I'm gonna make it the easiest thing for you in the world ever. A lot of people talk about the biting point, the friction zone, the friction point, yeah, whatever you want to call it uh, when it comes to a clutch pedal. All you need to know about for the moment is when the car is in gear, any gear at all. Say, first gear, it's the point at which when you start to let the clutch pedal out, the engine will start to engage with the wheels. It's the point at which your car is going to start wanting to move forwards. That's it, that's it. The clutch has to go in 
uh, as you're changing gear. So as I'm just stood here like this with the, everything out in neutral, when I go to start the car, I'm not gonna move, I'm not gonna go anywhere. So in fact, let's do that now and start the car. Remember clutch in, it's gonna have to be done on most new cars. Do it on old cars anyway for courtesy. Put it in neutral, give it a wiggle, put your ignition on and then flick her on. Wiggle, neutral, then you can let your clutch out. You can do it slowly just to be sure. The car's on, it's idling. We're gonna go and remind you how to stop a car first before we get moving. It's the pedal in the middle now. It's not just all the way over to the left, it's in the middle. Um, and if anything goes wrong and you're in a nice private space with no one behind you, hit the brake, put the clutch in after generally, but you can do it at the same time. That's fine for the moment. Brake, clutch in, come to a stop, put it in the neutral. You can take the clutch out, there's no problems. Now we've started the car uh, and it's running. The engine's spinning, but the gearbox isn't and we're not moving. This is a good thing because we don't want to be moving yet. To get moving and to just get you moving for the first time ever and make you way, way, way more comfortable with the clutch, what we can do, uh, find a nice flat bit of land. First gear. So clutch in all the way over to the left. And what I want you to do is bring the clutch up with your heel touching the floor if possible. And I want you to do it very, very slowly. And when I say slowly, I mean the slowest you've ever moved a pedal in your life, okay? I want your heel to be contacting the floor and I want it to be like a pivot. I want it to be just allowing the clutch to come back up super, super slowly. If you can see how sensitive my foot is, I'm already moving. And I clutch in and I just want you to press the brake. And I want you to put it in neutral give it a wiggle, take your foot off the clutch, you brake on and I want you to just give yourself a pat on the back because you've started moving a manual car for the first time ever. That's it. Seat pad on because I'm, you know, safe and all of that. Clutch in. Over to the left and up. You're in first gear. You're in a nice flat bit of land, hopefully. Uh, if not, then you can cover the brake with your right foot. Handbrake off. And what we're gonna start doing is letting that clutch up again with your left foot, using your heel as a pivot. You might have to back it up with your leg a little bit, but foot on the floor. It's gonna pivot up like this and your car's gonna start rolling. We're not even gonna use any gas or anything. We're literally just gonna do it the slowest we have in the world. And here we go. We're moving. Just keep letting it up slowly. And my foot's all the way off the, off the clutch now and I can use a little bit of throttle can use a little bit of gas and just get the thing rolling. It's as easy as that. Um, and what we can do is we can just add a little bit more throttle and we'll go faster. Add it off, we'll go slower. Fantastic. And what we can do now, shock and horror, is go for second gear. Oh my gosh, are you ready? So, bit of throttle. Let the revs build up a little bit. You don't want to be super low, otherwise you'll lug the engine. Clutch in. All the way over to the left, down to second. You can let the revs drop all the way if you want and just let the clutch out really slowly again. And now you're in second gear. Remember that when you're changing up gears, say from first to second, you need to let go of the gas completely and then depress the clutch to select your gear. Making sure that the clutch is all the way in when you're selecting a gear so you avoid causing any damage. Isn't that crazy? Again, avoiding obstacles, no hitting things. That's it. You're in second gear, and now you might be going a little bit faster and it might start getting a little bit scary. That's fine. Uh, if you start slowing down all the way, what you can do, first might be a little bit tough to get back into if you're still moving, and don't do it when you're going quickly, but you start slowing down, clutch in, first gear, start letting up the clutch really slowly, and then there you go. Come to a nice gentle stop with the brake. Clutch in. Oh. And that's it. Into neutral. Nice wiggle, clutch out. Congratulations, you've had your first little drive in a manual car. And really, that's all there is to it. Now you've moved from a start with pretty much uh, no throttle at all. You'll we'll have to find out how your car's engine revs. Ideally, What's going to happen is the throttle will start to come up. You add a bit of throttle as you start to release the clutch. 
and that's when you start to blend the two together on normal road driving. So, all engines are slightly different and will allow you to hold the revs at different sensitivities of throttle. You can just have a play with your car while it's sat in the car park, okay? Don't go revving the absolute life out of it, but just sit there and see if you can hold the car at like 1500 RPM, just under 2000 RPM generally in most cars, like that. See that? Like that. You'll just hear the car starting to get busy and that little bit of busy, not roaring, not screaming, is the perfect amount of revs you'll need to move off in most cases. For example, if I've got the car in first gear, remember, over to the left and up, and then I've added a little bit of throttle, so the car is sort of just getting busy. <laughs> then I'm letting the clutch out really, really slowly. It'll move off without any complaints. So the caveats to this are, on hills and when you're moving quicker you will need more revs or you'll need to be more gentle with the clutch so a big steep hill and this is a whole separate video of course i have a couple already um, i'll make a new one to update it but a big steep hill will require two or three thousand rpm sometimes and you to be quite gentle on the clutch you'll be able to hold it at the biting or the friction point for a little bit longer I'm going to get into this little parking spot over here and it'll be a good uh, good place to demonstrate going backwards to you because the principle remains the same except you're going backwards. Crazy, I know. So, your car's stopped. You put your car into reverse gear. You'll have to find the reverse gear on yours. There should be a little diagram here. You can kind of see it on mine, reverse in the bottom right-hand corner. R for not race mode. So, clutch in. Reverse, reverse might be a little bit tough sometimes. For me, it's all the way over and down. Sometimes it will be a push down. Sometimes it will be a little pull up ring thing. Remember to look backwards either over your shoulder in your mirrors or a combination of them. Just very, very slowly release the clutch. Maybe again, a little bit of gas if you need it. Keep the speed slow, keep it at the biting point. Put the clutch back in if you need to. Check again, keep backing up at the biting point and just let the car reverse. You see, with reverse gears on most cars, they tend to be quite short. Um, and what this means is that you end up going very quickly backwards, <laughs> which is not necessarily something you want to be doing at all times. What we'll do now is we'll just go on a normal level drive, or as, as, to normal, as close to normal as we can get. Um, and I'll just show more normal driving on the road, gear usage, and uh, you can get a, a little bit of an idea of what it's like if you take your car out on the open road. Again, only take your car on the road if you're licensed and you're able to do so. Please check in your local vicinity. Again, this is me saying I'm not responsible for you being stupid. So, if you notice it, we're coming to a stop. I'm just gonna come to a stop for demonstration purposes. Some throttle, gentle clutch usage with my foot on the floor into second gear. Uh, what we're doing here now is we're using a bit more uh, normal timing. So I'm not just letting the revs drop all the way to the floor, I'm changing gear quickly, uh, but gently, don't need to force it in, letting the revs drop enough into the next gear and letting the clutch out. So what you'll tend to find is if you hold the clutch in for too long in between changing gears, as you let the clutch out, the engine's going to have to build up the revs again and you'll end up lurching forwards. So as you get better, you can do so quicker and more efficiently uh, and the timing of the clutch means you won't have any lurching. So you can still be nice and smooth and gentle. So clutch in into fourth gear. See, even though it was a bit quicker on the clutch that time, um, there wasn't any lurching, there wasn't anything horrendous. Coming to a stop here because man's doing a 360. <laughs> so into first gear, you see, just put it in first few revs. If you feel the car start to judder and sound like it's going to stall, then you can just dip the clutch a tiny little bit again and wait for the car to pick back up again. Don't go and throw in a lot of throttle because what will happen is you'll start balancing the throttle and the clutch in all sorts of weird ways. You'll start screaming the engine, you'll burn your clutch out and uh, it'll just be a big mess. Burning your clutch out is just when you're holding the clutch at the biting point for way, way too long with loads of throttle. Uh, and all that's going to happen there 
is that you're going to create a load of heat, a load of sound, a load of mess, um, and it's just going to be expensive and messy. As we're driving along here in fourth, if we want to go to third, clutch in, third gear, clutch out very slowly, and we're in third gear. Slower than you think, because any violent movements uh, is going to make you lurch forwards and upset all your passengers and your iced latte on the dashboard. These were the very basics of driving a manual car. If you would like to get more in depth, click on the playlist, and thank you so much for watching.